Ah, oh, no, and welcome back to Match Day Live, and it's me, Dan, back again. And to yeah, and tonight, uh, Manchester United have to face Stoke City on the Monday night game. Um, we've had a week off, <laughs> let's just say that. Anyway, we're finally back with Match Day Live. Uh, so the team I've gone for is De Gea, Shaw, Jones, Small in Valencia. Uh, hopefully Valencia will be back from uh, injury. Pogba, Matic, Mata in midfield. And then we've got Rashford, Lukaku and Lingard. I'll tell you why, uh, because I've picked Rashford in a sec. But, um, yeah, so let's go back uh, two weeks, I think. Yeah, no, wait, a week and a half ago. Um, Man United faced Everton on a late... It was a late game, I think it was, wasn't it? I'm not too sure. Was it a late game? I'm not too sure. Uh, but we beat Everton 2-0. Um, it was a pretty good game. Um, pretty much Everton, they didn't really attack us. Um, I'm not too sure whether... All right, obviously, we had a game beforehand, like two days beforehand. But um, I just don't get why we was... Um, they were so poor, Everton was so poor, and they were there for the taking. And we, it took us to the second half to get the first two, to get the first goals. But um, they were so, they were literally so poor in that game. I thought Everton would come out and attack us like really well, and you know, get get you know get a, get a, you know maybe get a goal. Oh, great save, Butland. Um, but um, they didn't. They didn't really attack us. We pretty much controlled the game. Um, we controlled the game at Goodison Park. Yeah, like I said, normally games at Goodison Park are really hard. You know, they're really, you know, hard games. You know, bogey side teams. Everton is for Man United, but we, they just did not show up that the game, and it showed. Um, so first half, it was pretty poor uh, from both sides. Really, we had a couple shots that were saved from um, Pickford. I think, if I remember correctly, we did hit the bar. I'm not too sure who hit the bar. I think it was Lingard or someone or. Lukaku, um, I know Lukaku had a couple chances as well, um, but yeah, we played pretty well, uh, second half, talking of which, Lukaku just scored, uh, talking of which, um, we pretty much um, just sat back in that first half and, you know, um, attacked when we can, pretty much uh, played pretty well, um, yeah, we played with a uh, four in, three in midfield, where Pogba plays on the left hand side and that's where I think we should do that from now on um, it showed that in the uh, FA Cup game where we had to face Derby but yeah where we play down when he plays down that left hand side he's more of a winger I don't know what it is he, li he likes to play down that left hand side but he's more of a winger he just like tricks into the box and I don't know <laughs> he's like a centre midfielder but he's, he's a centre midfielder but he plays like a winger do you know what I mean it's a, it's a bit weird but um, yeah so I reckon he sh Mourinho should stick with this um, like four three three attack uh, formation that we uh, normally use. And, you know, have have Lingard either on the wing or you know has him as the number ten. You know, Matic just Matic. You know, Matic just sit back and control the game like he normally does. And oh, go on, Rashford. Oh, unlucky. Um, but yeah. So anyway, uh, let's go into the second half. Um, because there wasn't really much to talk about in that first half, really. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about the second half where we got our first goal through. Um, no, it wasn't Lingard. It was Martial, wasn't it? Uh, it was brilliant play down uh, the left hand side, if I remember correctly. And Pogba just pulls out out on that wet left hand side, puts a good ball into Martial. Martial just controls it at the edge of the box. No tackle. No nothing. And he just puts it past the defender and, you know, curls it in. Passes it, basically, you know, curls. He, he, he kind of finessed it in, but, he, you know, he could pretty much... Wow, heavy touch. Um, he pretty much uh, curled into the net and it was a good, uh, good, good goal. Um, yeah, so that was 1-0. You could see it coming, uh, especially in, like, the first 10 minutes of the second half. We was just attacking and attacking. They weren't really doing anything. Uh, so, yeah, after that... Um, it was 1-0, uh, Martial got the goal, and he, uh, him and him, uh, he played up front, well no, did he play up front? I'm not too sure if he played, yeah, no, he did play up front, I think he dropped Lukaku, no, did he drop Lukaku? No, I don't, no, I don't think he did, um, I think Lukaku did play that game, if I'm not too mistaken, 
Did he play? Yeah, I'm sure he played there. Uh, but yeah. Oh, get that. Yes, thank you. Um, but yeah, uh, we pretty much dominated the game. <laughs> second, yeah, second goal was a worldie from uh, Jesse Lingard. Uh, he basically from outside the box just smashed it into the top uh, right hand corner. Basically, like uh, the well, I don't know, yeah, well, kind of like I was going to say, kind of like the derby game, but the derby game was after that game. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was that, and. Uh, we won 2-0. Uh, they did start playing Everton once they made a substitution. I think McCarthy came on and he can, he, you know, he kind of went into the players, sliding the tackle with all the slide tackles and stuff like that. And um, but yeah, he pretty much he pretty much uh, came on and started well for Everton. And yeah, but we won in the end, 2-0. Uh, so that was that. Uh, yeah. So then going on to. Uh, the next game, which was a Friday game, it was um, we faced a derby at the. Uh, I've totally forgot. Uh, I totally forgot who. What's, the, what's their ground called? I totally forgot what their ground's called. Um, yeah, we won 2 0. I remember Jesse Lingard scored. Um, I can't think who scored the first one. Uh, whilst it's uh, paused, I shall have a look. Um, I just had it up. Just I literally just had it up. Uh, yeah, two 0 Who scored? I can't remember who scored. It's like such a yeah, Lukaku. I uh, know. Yeah, Luka Lingard and Lukaku. But um, it was kind of like the Everton game, the uh, Derby game. Uh, they kind of Derby kind of uh, sat back and attacked when they can, um, and um, we also. You know, sat back and let them attack us, and then we kind of countered. But it took us to the 84th minute with Jesse Lingard with a worldie of a goal. Um, so that was that was um, that was one nil. That was the 84th minute, and uh, <laughs> thank God he did because I thought it was going to be a replay. I thought either um, either Derby was going to score right at the end, or you know it was going to go to a replay back to Old Trafford, but. Um, yeah, it didn't in the end. And in the 90th minute, I think this was on a brilliant counter-attack. Um, Lukaku held the ball up and he pretty much uh, controlled it, passed it to Martial. Martial came back and uh, passed it back to Lukaku. And then Lukaku uh, just put it under the Derby keeper's uh, arm, I believe. It just, you know, it's one of them shots where the keeper saves it, but it goes, it goes in anyway. Um, it just bounced underneath his arm and goes in. But um, yeah, so that was another 2 0 victory. And it's. <coughs> and I believe we do have another FA Cup game coming up against Yeovil. Um, we faced them like. I don't know if it's 2016, I think. Or 2015. I'm not too sure. But we faced them um, in. I think we faced them in the third round before uh, Yeovil. So yeah, we got Yeovil at Yeovil Town. So that's going to be a good game. Uh, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so there, yeah, basically going into that... Oh, I didn't want to pass to Luke Shaw there. So yeah, so basically going into that game, we won 2-0. And then we had a week off. So um, we went into... I think, uh, if, I was, if I'm thinking correctly, we, uh, Mourinho took the uh, took the guys up to... Uh, up to uh, they took them to Dubai. Had a, you know, warm winter session training. And I think that has helped, you know, having a week off. You know, taking a... Fr taking a break from the you know cold of uh, <laughs> cold Britain cold Manchester and you know uh, coming back to cold Manchester as well but um, yeah they pretty much you know just had a, like a mini break uh, thank God for that and uh, yeah we're back tonight though against Stoke so let's talk about Stoke quickly uh, so Stoke uh, I believe they lost their last game uh, they lost to uh, Coventry City in the FA Cup so that was a bit of a uh, surprise. Uh, also, um, I believe they drew, they lost their last Premier League game as well. So I think, um, yeah, Mark Hughes got, um, he got, I believe he got sacked. And apparently, that I've just seen on my phone, that Paul Lambert is going for the uh, Stoke job. So we could have a new manager by tonight, probably, Stoke. But yeah, Stoke themselves, um, all right, they drew with us 2-2. But I can't see us, you know... I could see us being a much fresher side, you know, gonna we're going to attack the ball, we're going to control the game. It's at Old Trafford, I don't think they're going to be, 
Uh, I'll be surprised if we if they get a draw, but I can't see I can't see them winning. They're just so they're, they've been so bad recently. I think they lost like four, five, six nil against Man City. I think that was the like before the FA Cup game, but um, yeah. Uh, so I don't. Uh, score prediction would probably be like three 0 or something. I really do believe we're gonna get a few goals against them. Um, yeah. So uh, also it's the transfer window, and we must talk about the transfers. The main transfer, obviously, is uh, Sanchez. Apparently, it could be announced today in the game at half time. It could be anything. Yeah, Arsenal's Alex San <laughs> Alexis Sanchez. I couldn't believe that. I was like, oh, he's going to go to City, you know. He's going to be good at City and, uh, you know, he's going to pick up a winner's medal, obviously, because, um, yeah. Oh, talk about talk about City. They finally lost to Liverpool. That was a good game to watch yesterday. Um, yeah, Liverpool beat them 4-3, I believe. They almost come back, but, yeah. Pogba, uh, that's a corner, surely, yeah. Uh, yeah, so Alexis Sanchez, apparently we've bidded... Uh, 25 million uh, to 30 million for Sanchez. Apparently, we've also included um, Henrik Mkhitaryan. If we do get um, Sanchez, I hope we don't. Ho I don't hope we didn't. Um, you know, buy him. To hope we didn't. You know, swap him with. Oh, poor free kick. Um, I hope we don't haven't swapped him with Henrik Mkhitaryan because if Mkhitaryan goes to Arsenal, he's going to be good at. He'll be good at Arsenal, especially with Ozil. He's kind of one of their player. He's kind of one of them players that he can fit in straight back at Arsenal. So, I rather if we go, if we are going to sell Mkhitaryan, or make him, you know, sell him abroad, you know, where we ain't going to face him, not into, not to another Premier League side. So, it is definitely um, one of them things. But if we do get Sanchez, it would be a good signing. Obviously, he's a good player. Um, probably a probably be be good for like one or two seasons obviously because he's 29 still but it'd be a good player for us he can play out on the wing he can play striker he can play as the number 10 as well but it'd be interesting if we do sign him um personally i don't really want him um i'd rather have you know wait till the summer and get griezmann or someone like that but yes anyway so uh let's go to the score prediction for stoke yeah i'm gonna go for three nil um, I think uh, probably Rashford might come in and score. Um, uh, probably uh, Pob might come in and score. I can see Lukaku. It's going to be a big scoreline, I think. Well, it's not going to be like a big scoreline, but I think we'll win easily, like 3 0 or something like that. But um, we definitely, definitely need to get another victory. Uh, you know, now that Man City lost yesterday, we need to get points on them again. So make it down to, what, 12 points now if we win today. Uh, I only won one nil. How did I only win one nil? I'm trying to just realise that. Um, so yeah, my score prediction. I'm going to go three nil. Um, probably, like I said, Lukaku will probably will score. So anyway, I'm actually going to end it here, guys. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys next time. So right, I'm going. Bye. I uh, know, guys. Thank you for watching my video. Hit me up on Twitch and Twitter, and don't forget to watch the playlist down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.